What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are finally back from the cruise. It's been a little while. I'm excited to get back to vlogging. It's been a little bit. I had an amazing vacation. It was so much fun. Weather was great. Mexico was awesome. Went to Honduras too. It was, uh, it was a cool cruise. Met some cool people. Shout out to all you guys. You guys know who you are. And today's video is pretty cool because today I'm going to be showing and demonstrating what a smart AI box basically does in your car. So let me explain. So One Car Stereo sent me out a Smart AI Apple CarPlay box. Shout out to you guys. I will put all the links in the description to get this product if you like it. So you have to have Apple CarPlay already to have this device, by the way. Um, this device connects either USB-C or USB. Um, it gives you both the chargers. So if you do have USB-C to USB-C, this is a USB-C, uh, well, that's the wrong side. This is a USB-C outlet. So if you have a car that doesn't have USB outlets, they give you USB-C and I have a car that is USB outlets, so I use USB. So essentially this is wireless CarPlay. And what's pretty cool about the wireless CarPlay is you don't have to plug your phone in to use CarPlay, and it's pretty cool. Now this box comes with really cool features. There's add-ons, so you're not just gonna get wireless CarPlay because why would you just, why would you pay all that money just for wireless CarPlay? So what's cool about this box, here's the box that it comes in, is you get all of the streaming apps that you want on it. So you get Netflix, you get YouTube, and you get any other kind of Google app that you want to use, which is really cool. So you can stream like Spotify and all that kind of stuff on here. Same thing as you would with a regular Apple CarPlay, except you get to watch videos on it. Can you go wrong? This is awesome. I'm excited to give it a try. I have the box right here with the wire right over there. So I'm gonna show you. You have your USB-C to USB-C plug right here. Perfect, and then I have this one already ready to go. It's so a USB to USB-C. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here. Boom, just like that. We're gonna grab the Smart AI box. So when it's all plugged in, it basically creates a media intro, and then it's gonna open up your Smart AI box. That intro is really sick, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty cool. Powered by Android, it's got all the Android apps that you need, and boom, just like that. Look at that, so that is like your main display screen. What you can do is if you want your CarPlay, you just hit this. I kind of already went ahead and connected it. I believe I'm all set, should be connected. And boom, just like that, you have your Apple CarPlay. It's the same thing, no difference. The only cool thing is now is you have your little battery level there, which you didn't have before and plug in CarPlay, but everything's the same, everything's perfect. If you wanna go back to the main screen, just hit car. And then you have all your options here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do first is you go into here and you connect to Bluetooth. So as you can see, I'm connected says not connected but I am connected to the smart AI box so you're gonna want to connect to the smart AI box and then you'll see it pop up on the bottom when other devices you just hit connect it will automatically connect for you once you do that and then I'm connected to Wi-Fi because I'm home right now but you can also use your 5g hotspot um, if you want to watch YouTube and Netflix while on the road as well so we'll go to YouTube here I'll show you this is actually really cool I mean look at that so you search up real speed on the YouTube app and I'm seeing it in my car this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen I mean look at that my whole channel is literally right here I it's just that is so cool and we'll click on the we'll click on the golf R video What is up boys? Welcome back to another video. That's so cool. Exactly and you can watch the whole video, any video you want. I mean, that is just so sick. If you wish to watch YouTube videos, you can watch Netflix on here as well. That, it's, that is just so freaking cool. I love, I just, I love that. That is awesome. Look at this. The last vlog. If you guys haven't checked out this vlog, make sure to go check it out. That is just so sick. I mean, you really can't go wrong with that. That is one of the coolest features about this thing and I love everything about it. I think it's really cool. I'm gonna try to log into my Netflix account. Ooh, that's cool. For copyright reasoning, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show too much, but I can show like a little like little preview if I can get it. Out is oh my God. The most enjoyable experiences of so, people, you know how many people talk about? We should that's Seinfeld <laughs> and I got it to work. I was able to sign in. It was so cool. 
And yeah, you can watch episodes of shows on here. I mean, I can show you the full display. You have your brightness display too, so you can check the brightness, but pretty much the whole nine. You can watch movies on here, you can watch TV. Uh, the Mick is a great show, by the way. It's only two seasons, but it's so good. I, one of the, I mean, that is just awesome. Some of the stuff that, I mean, oh, Good Place, that's a great show too. Recommend it. I just, that's awesome. So cool. Got the Chappelle show right here. That is so cool. And when it loads, you're able to turn up the brightness. And that's cool. Also a funny show right there. Love David Chappelle. Guy is an absolute legend. But that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I have seen it before. I just, it's really cool because a lot of things, a lot of times you have to buy like one of those big 10 inch screens or nine inch screens from like Amazon or something. While here, you just have to buy this little box connected to your CarPlay already and you can watch it without having to buy a brand new screen. That I've never seen before. I've never seen somebody being able to watch it on their, on their factory screen. And that is just really cool. And there's just something about this that makes it more, it's a modernized version of what Apple CarPlay could have been, but it's not. So I know CarPlay doesn't want to do that because of safety and stuff like that, but there are sometimes you're in traffic, you're in your car and you want to watch a YouTube video or a podcast while you're driving. And sometimes it's not always as distracting and I feel like there should be certain modes for that. But I love that there's companies like One Car Stereo that come out with these things to allow you to do that. And this is honestly one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And they have other things. So you have Disney Plus, um, you can 100% go to the Play Store and download any other streaming app and you can watch freely. Um, you just have to sign in if you have a, a Google Play account, which I do not, so I will not be doing that. Uh, anyway, to get back to your home screen, you have a little like dot right here. So you just hit that and then it basically takes you to all of that. You hit the little home screen and boom. Um, it's pretty cool. So you have your Bluetooth music, um, that's your phone connection. You can upload files on here. Your Bluetooth music will come through on here. Shows you your Wi-Fi up there. My Wi-Fi strength is not big because I'm far away from it right now. But it's pretty cool. You can go to your CarPlay right here. Make sure that you're connected to your Smart Play box. Obviously that you're connected. And then boom. Now you're right in. Listen to some music. I've been listening to Avril Lavigne because why not? But all your music is right here. Simple as that. Boom. All your downloaded music, everything is connected. Everything is here. Pretty cool. You have, I use Waze, so you have your Waze maps right here, which is pretty sick. And there you go. Honestly, it's a pretty easy device to connect. It's pretty easy to use. I really, really like it. I think it is a very cool feature to have in your car if you already have CarPlay but are tired of plugging in your phone every single time. Like me, I am so tired of plugging in my phone every single time and it's actually not a good idea to plug your phone in all the time while you're driving. I mean, I don't mind it. I don't mind plugging it in if I'm driving just up and down the road or whatnot. But these long road trips, and I take these long road trips. You guys have seen me drive to the Carolinas and twice now and I've driven there and 30 hours combined home and uh, to and from and my phone's connected for those 30 hours. And I don't know if I want my phone connected charging for that long. So it's really nice, especially for those long road trips to have a secondary Apple CarPlay like this to be able to do that. Plus on those long road trips, your spouse or your partner or your friend or your family might wanna watch a movie and you have that opportunity now to connect this box in at any point that you want and watch TV, watch movies watch YouTube videos, podcasts, watch real speed while you're on the road, boys. Be very cautious and be very careful. I don't need you getting into an accident because you're watching my YouTube videos. I don't want to see that. But if you guys are in traffic, you guys are on break from work and you're bored and you want to watch one of the boys' YouTube videos, you get it. You got to get yourself one of these boxes. You can watch it on your big screen. I have a kind of a smaller screen in my car, but like if you got one of those newer like 10, 12 inch screens up top or something like that, or you got those dual screens, you can have some fun. And you can definitely watch some cool videos. One Car Stereo, thank you so much for sending this device out. It is a really, really cool device. And I recommend that you guys buy this because it will help you in so many ways. You'll be able to utilize things in so many different ways that Apple CarPlay currently cannot offer you. And I believe that this is a new generation of what CarPlay and connectivity should look like. And I think it's pretty cool. And then you can go back to your actual car there. You can hit that there. 
Really cool, I love the features on it. You have your Play Store, everything that you need all right here, and then you can go right into your Apple CarPlay, which I love. So you guys, make sure to go down in the link in the description if you guys want this device. It is one of the coolest devices I've ever tried out. Once again, thank you so much, One Car Stewart, for sending this device out for me and allowing me to test out your product. This device is really cool, and I recommend that you guys at least go check it out, and definitely check the links in the description and go grab yourself one if you like this video and you like this product. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment your thoughts on this product below. And as always, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to turn the bells on so you get notifications whenever Real Speed posts videos. And boys, we will see you in the next one. Peace out.